hey guys you're yeah, welcome back to my channel today thank you so much for stopping by in this video i'll be cutting and sewing this really stylish dress that you can see on your screen so i used four yards of a sunray fabric to achieve this tie if this is something you're interested in keep on watching and let's get started so i'm going to start by drafting on my pattern paper because this dress involves a slash and spread method so on my pattern paper i'm going to go ahead and take all my points my pattern paper is folded into two so go ahead and first of all fold your pattern paper into two and then go ahead and start taking your point the first point i took is the distance from my shoulder to my bust point which is 11 inches the next point is the distance from my shoulder to my waist point which is 17 inches and the last point is the distance from my shoulder to my hip line hip point is 25 inches and then go ahead and mark out your dress length mine is going to be 60 inches long so the next thing i did was to take half of my shoulder measurements on the shoulder line i took the same measurement on the bust line and then i connected the two dots into a straight line so what i did next was to go down by one inch from my shoulder slope and i slanted from that point into the neckline area after doing that i placed my tape after the shoulder slope and i went down by my arm all depth which is nine inches i indicated the nine inches and i ruled a straight line across this is going to be my chest line so i'll label it my chest line after doing that i'll place my tape back on the straight line and i'm going to divide what i have into two equal halves so what i have is nine inches half of nine inches is 4.5 inches i marked the 4.5 inches on my chest line i placed my bust circumference divided by four and i added one inch for stitching allowance after doing that i connected from the dots that i have on the straight line to meet the dots that i have on the chest line on the waist line i'll place my waist circumference divided by four and i'll add one inch for stitching allowance on the hip line i'll place my hip circumference divided by four i'll also add one inch for stitching allowance after doing that i'll connect from the chest line to the waist line and from there to the hip line so the next thing you do is to place your tape on the hip line whatever you have there plus the stitching allowance you are going to place it to the base of your dress so you just connect straight down from the hip line down to the base of your dress The next thing I'll do is to cut off the excess fabric from the arm or area and the sides of my pattern paper. After cutting, I'll go ahead and open up my pattern paper. Like I said before, my pattern paper is on fold. So I have a full um, scale bodice here. So what I'm going to do now is to work on the ruche. To do that, I'll make sure I mark my one inch stitching allowance that I have on the waistline, on the bust line, and on the hip line. So looking at the thumbnail, the dress we are trying to recreate as one um, sided off shoulder, meaning one side does not have a shoulder. And that same side that does not have a shoulder is the side that also have a ruche okay so in order to do that what you do is to mark your neck depth so the part that we are going to um cut out the neck depth i'll be working with is three inches because i don't want it to be too wide so i folded my pattern back into two and i marked three inches on one side so the next thing i did was to come in by two inches after my stitching allowance you can see that i didn't include my stitching allowance on the waist and um, line to that two inches i'll go up from the waistline by two inches so this depends on how opened you want the root area to be okay from the waistline i placed my tape and i went down also by about five inches so what i'll do now is to connect the three dots together in a circular form so i'm going to use my ruler first of all and then i'll use my free hand to adjust it so i did two inches on the waistline i came in by two inches excluding my stitching allowance i went up from the waistline by two inches and i went down from the waistline by five inches so after doing that i connected like this now that i've gotten my circle what i'll do is to place my tape and mark what is left so what is left is what i'm going to mark the same measurements on my hip line okay i'll keep marking all the way to the end of my pattern paper okay so the exact measurement left on the waistline is what you mark all the way to your dress length so after doing that you can see me connecting the dots into a straight line okay so after doing that guys this is what i have 
so what i have left on the other side of the pattern paper i'm going to first of all um measure it is about four inches and then i still have my stitching allowance which you can see so what i'll do first of all is to mark what i have left minus my stitching allowance okay so you can see me marking all the way like this after doing that i'm going to connect the dots into a straight line so what i have left on the other end is my one inch stitching allowance okay so after doing that because we are going to be doing the slash and spread method what i'll do now is to divide these four inches you can divide it whatever you have you can divide it into um 0.5 inches um 0.75 inches or one inch i have four inches okay but i'm dividing mine by 0.5 inches mean 0.75 inches meaning i'm taking 0.75 inches at different intervals because i want to slash it okay so i'm just marking you can decide to do one one inch interval depending on what you want okay so after marking i'm going down and i'm also marking the same thing because i want to get a straight line so i'm going to connect like this all the way okay just do that all the way to the length of your dress and then go ahead and number it okay so that when you are um, spreading it you not mix any paper together okay so after connecting all the lines this is what i have okay so we are going to cut this out but before we do that we'll work on the neckline first of all so for the neckline remember i came in by three inches which is going to be my neck width because i don't want it to be too open so i'm going to open up my pattern paper just like you see me doing okay so the center of this pattern paper is the part that is folded so i already know where my center is and you can see my three inches that i took for my neck width so what i'll do is to place my roller from that three inches and i'm going to connect to the arm o area because i want to eliminate the arm o on this other end after connecting this is what i have you can determine how deep you want it to be you can see placing my tape on mine the depth is also three inches so if you feel like it's too covered you can just go down and then connect it back to the arm or area so after doing that i'm going to cut off the excess pattern paper on the neckline area so we are done with the upper parts so the next thing we are going to do now is to cut out this waist area okay so I'll first of all cut out the circle as you can see me doing and i'm going to extend all these lines upward so guys after extending the lines i'm going to go ahead and start cutting i'll detach this part from the main bodies of the dress and i'm going to go ahead and slash all through okay so just um number your paper okay so when you're spreading you know which goes where after cutting out this is what i have i'm going to bring a fresh pattern paper and i'm going to spread um this on the fresh pattern paper okay so make sure the fresh pattern paper is as long as um the fabric that you're going to spread so what i'll do is to start placing them from number one okay you're going to determine um how much ruche you want to get on the front part of your dress okay so you can spread by one inch two inches or three inches i am spreading by three inches because i want it to be really full so after placing number one i give three inches gap and then i'm placing number two i'll give the same three inches gap and i'll place number three i'll keep doing that till i get to the end okay once you do that use your masking tape to just hold everything down so it does not move and then you're going to cut out the shape on the upper part just like you can see just trace out what you have okay on the upper part and then make sure the length is the same on the lower part okay mine i spread it by three inches you can do three um two inches you can do one inch okay so after doing that guys this is what i have you can see the lower bodies also is the same length so i'm going to place this back to where i cut it from so what i'll do is to bring in the other part of the pattern paper and i'm going to merge it merge them for you guys to see okay so this is the part where i slashed it from i'm going to make sure that everything is the same length okay so as you can see it's the same length so i'm going to use my masking tape to join them back together before i cut on my fabric okay so just use your tape to hold everything back together and then you're going to cut on my on your fabric so when cutting on your fabric do not fold your fabric into two you're going to cut out two pieces for this 
so my fabric is not folded i just placed my pattern paper on it and i used it to cut out one piece then i used the one piece to cut out the other piece so i have two of this okay so while cutting i added a an inch to the neckline area the armhole area and the ruch area because i'll be using it to pipe the neckline and the armhole area okay so i don't want to cut out facing for this what i'll do is to join the shoulders i'll turn my neckline either using a bias or hemming it i'll sew this other part and then i'll also turn the armhole area to give it a neat finishing and i'll sew the two sides of the dress so i'm sewing everywhere except the circle on the side so after turning my neckline this is what i have and then i also turned the armhole area and i sewed the sides as you can see okay so once you turn it with your bias or you aim it just go ahead and iron everything in place so the only part i've not sewn is this circle area okay i also sewed the other side so what i'll do is to open that part up and i'm going to fold it okay i want to create like a channel for my elastic band to pass through so what you do is fold once and then you fold over or you can just fold once so all the way around and leave a little bit of opening where you are going to use your elastic band to pass through so i'm going to sew all the way around make sure the casing is wide enough for the elastic you'll be using okay so just go ahead and sew after sewing guys i'm going to insert my elastic band through the casing and it's going to form that circle effect so i'm done sewing guys and this is what i have this is the opening i left on the side that is where i'm going to pass my elastic band through so i've gone ahead to cut out my elastic band okay so the wideness of the elastic band depends on how open you want the um rouge effect to be okay so for mine i think i cut out about 10 inches and i didn't get to use 11 inches i didn't get to use everything so i'm going to use my safety pin to pass the elastic band through the um channel okay after doing that and i get the shape that i want for the circle i'm going to just tie it up and then i'm going to go ahead and stitch it in place okay holding the elastic band so just go ahead and do that arrange the circle if you want it to be really open make it open if you want it completely closed you can also make it completely closed so now that i've gotten what i want what i'll do is to just tie the elastic band into a knot as you can see me doing and then i'll head over to my sewing machine to just stitch everything down and yeah guys that is all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful don't forget to like this video leave your questions in the comment section thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one